hi everyone welcome back and today i'm going to show you how i make my aniseed plat bread and if you want to see how this is being done then stay with me to the end and if you like this video kindly give it a thumbs up also press that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified when i upload another video and kindly please check the description box for all information on this bread down below all right so now let's get started okay so now i have some warm water some sugar some butter and shortening some yeast i also have some aniseed that i did soak with some warm water i also have some salt and some flour now i'm going to sift two cups of flour into this bowl Here I'm adding some sugar. Some salt and mix well. And if you want to make this recipe guys, just double up on the amount of ingredients that I did use. I did add the yeast and I'm going to combine well. Here I'm adding the soaked aniseed. The aniseed gives the bread a nice aromatic flavor. I'm also adding the butter and the shortening and combine the mixture well. With this type of yeast that I'm using guys, you can just mix it into your flour and just make sure you use warm water. I'm adding some water, warm water and I'm going to mix this into a nice soft dough ball. Just add some more flour just to make sure that you get the right consistency. After I form my dough ball, guys, I'm going to leave it for 20 minutes aside just to raise. Now I'm going to take it again and give it another kneading and leave it for another 20 minutes or until the dough doubles in size. After my dough has been doubled in size here, I'm spraying my pan with some vegetable oil and I'm going to start now on a slightly floured surface here i have four pieces of dough from the two cups of flour that i did use and i'm going to start rolling my pieces to make my plat bread Now I'm going to plait my three strands of dough, placing them one over the other. Just make sure that you tuck the ends in tightly so that they would not pop out, they would not loose. Flip it over and do the same. Now the neatness of the bread is when you roll that bread right over, just like so. Now I'm going to place the bread into the baking pan. And with the other piece of dough, I did make two small buns. 
After this was done, I set aside this dough to raise for 20 minutes, at which time my oven has been heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I place my bread into the oven to bake for 35 minutes. After 35 minutes, this is my aniseed plat bread. Guys, don't worry with the top. These things do happen. We don't always have a perfect baking bread. But now that my bread is finished, here I'm plastering some butter over my bread to give it that nice finish look. So guys, this is what my finished bread looks like. It is so soft. It is so delicious. I can tell you, try this. And thank you for coming in the kitchen with Lynn. And I will see you in my next video. See you soon.